Hey everyone, this is Gregrix from BassFuzz.com here today with another fuzz review. I've got the Ren and Cuff Pickle Pie Hell of Fuzz. This is the B version, which is specifically designed for bass. Uh, he's made some changes to the circuit and added a blender here on the side. Uh, that's a clean, dry blend uh, to give you as much clean signal as you'd like. This is a clone, or a reinterpretation anyway, of the way huge swollen pickle. This came out quite a while ago now, long before uh, Way Huge reissued the Swollen Pickle itself. Um, Joe in Springs, a uh, guy from the forum Talk Bass, was kind enough to loan me this pedal to give it a review. It's kind of got your standard uh, Big Muff style controls. We've got a volume, saturation knob, and a shape, which is kind of a tone knob, uh, with the lone addition of the um, blend knob on the side. As always, for a full review of this pedal with additional sound clips, uh, breakdowns of all the sizes and uh, different stuff like that, uh, come to my website, BassBuzz.com. Let's get to it. Uh, start off with my jazz bass today. Jazz bass. <laughs> so you can really get an effect of the knobs. So this is full saturation. That's the shape knob. Shape and saturation crank. blend knock this down to about 75% so that's 75% wet and as a note that is not necessarily the actual percentage just approximately where it is on the dial the clean coming through there. And you can get some low gain tones out of it if you're willing to uh, fool with the knobs enough where you can really turn down the blend. And saturation. It's hard to call them low gain tones actually just because there is so much fuzz, it's just really low in the mix, so it's it, it can create kind of an interesting thing. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the pedal as a whole. It's not super versatile in terms of the tones it gives you. It's definitely in the swollen pickle realm with the really deeply compressed um, kind of saturated fuzz that it gives you. But I find it quite appealing because uh, I'm a fan of the swollen pickle, so... Uh, it does that very well. 
with the added changes for bass, it makes it usable with or without the clean blend, actually. And so you can really dial into a spot you're comfortable with. So if you like the overall tone of the pedal, I think this would, I highly recommend it. Small form factor, um, good quality components. The build looks nice. Um, there's nothing to say about it. The sound's right on. So if you're looking for a pickle clone and, and want all the versatility of uh, uh, the bass mods that have been done here, I, I, it looks great. So This is my Squire P. Give you a little clean sound from it. This is one of my favorite bases. This is a Rob Allen mouse. It has uh, no real business being uh, used as a test mule for BassFuzz.com, but uh, yeah, that's its fate. It is a uh, short-scale fretless bass um, with a piezo pickup in the saddle down here. That's the Rob Allen mouse. Here we're going to do a little taste test. This is a new piece here. I'm going to use a couple of other bass fuzzes just as a direct compare. We'll use some couple flavors people are probably familiar with, one being the Big Muff uh, Pie. This is the bass version, which I mean, the Woolly Mammoth, which while not as readily available or as cheap as the uh, Big Muff Pie, it is, a, I'm going to say, a fairly long-lived bass fuzz at this point, and a lot of people are familiar with the sound. So I thought I'd use that as well just to kind of give you a point of comparison. So, spot on. Here's a spot I like on the Big Muff. Sucked. Big black. 